So subtraction, I'm assuming again, you're pretty comfortable with. So the section is pretty short, but again, if it's been a little bit, we'll review and we'll also hit some application problems that are important for this section. So the difference A minus B is some number C for which A equals B plus C. Feels really arbitrary. It's a lot of numbers, a lot of variables in there. So what does it mean? So when I'm asking 45 minus 15, what we're asking, what that little box is saying is what number do I need to add to 15 to get me to 45? So what do I need to add to 15 to get me to 45? That answer is 30. So just another way to represent it. All right. What number can I add? to 7 to get me to positive 3. So what number do I need to add to 7 to get to positive 3? I need to remove how many? 4 from there. But again, visualizing what has to happen. I'm starting from 0 and the first chunk tells me move 3 in the positive direction. So I end up here. Then from there, move 7 in the negative direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what value are we at? Negative one, two, three, four. All right. So subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. Like we've seen when we were working with addition, if I had a plus a negative, we were really subtracting. We were removing that value from A. So, we can write subtraction in terms of addition if you're more comfortable with that. So what is two minus six really saying? I'm saying two plus negative six. So if I'm removing six from two, what am I left with? Negative four. Four part B, four minus a negative nine what do I get when I minus a minus? What does it turn into? Positive. So we've got 13 there. And last, negative 4.2 minus negative 3.6. So is our answer going to be positive or negative in the end? And why? It's going to be negative because 4.2 is bigger than 3.6. Because what happens here? Minus a minus becomes a plus. And the difference between those two is 0.6. And the negative has larger absolute value. All right. So let's do a few application problems, some interesting things. Surface temperatures on Mars, I actually looked this up, it's pretty interesting, vary from negative 138 degrees Celsius. How stinking cold. During a polar night, to 27 degrees Celsius, warmer, at the equator during midday at its closest point in orbit to the sun. So we want to find the difference between the highest value and the lowest value in this temperature range. So I'm going to let D be the temperature difference. Temp difference. So, I'm trying to find the difference between the highest value, so the warmest that it is, is 27 degrees Celsius, and I'm trying to find the difference between that and the lowest temperature value. So, coldest it gets is negative 138. So, the temperature difference between there is going to be 27 plus 138 which gives us 165 degree difference. I think for some of these it's helpful to draw a picture as well. So here if I have my temperature gaze, gauge, here's zero degrees Celsius. Negative 138 is all the way down here. All right. And 27 is maybe around here, 27 degrees Celsius. And we're asking for the difference between these two values. So, to start from negative 138, to get to 127, what has to happen? I have to increase 138 degrees to zero. So 
So that's our change in temperature there. Then from zero, I have to increase by another 27 degree increase. So the difference between those we have is 165. All right, so another problem for you, highest temperature ever recorded in the US was 134 degrees Fahrenheit. California in July 1913. The lowest ever recorded was in January 1971 in Alaska at negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit. How much higher was the temperature in California than Alaska? So I'm going to let D be the temperature difference again. And the highest temperature that we had was 134 in California. And again, we're trying to find the difference between that and the lowest temperature in Alaska, negative 80. So, how much higher was this temperature than this one? Again, draw on the picture. If I'm negative 80 below, I have to travel 80 degrees to get zero. Then from zero to 134, we had to increase some more. So we're looking at 134 plus 80, which is a 214 degree difference. But in this case, we were talking about Fahrenheit, and in the first one, we were talking about Celsius. So that makes a difference.